At Alto Lake, fishing for trout was good when using spinners and flies. At Baton Lake, fishing for trout was good when using cheese power bait. At Caballo Lake, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using gizzard shad and cut bait. At Eagle Nest Lake, fishing for trout was good when using flies, salmon peach power bait, and swim baits. Fishing for pike was fair to good when using rainbow trout pattern swim baits. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using chartreuse, flicker shad crankbaits, Ned Rig Light Brown Crawdad Pattern Lures, and Shad Pattern Crankbaits. Fishing for striped bass was fair when using green paddle tail swim baits. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was good when using olive woolly bugger flies and salmon egg glitter power bait. At Lake Van, fishing for trout was good when using worms and power bait. At Perch Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using power bait mixed with sausage meat. The Loha Osos Hatchery at Alto Lake, Baton Lake, Carrizozo Recreation Lake, Grindstone Reservoir, Lake Van, Perch Lake, and the Rio Dosa River were each stocked with rainbow trout. The Red River Trout Hatchery at Bill Evans Lake was stocked with rainbow trout. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please, Richard Koffel, Julian Lopez, and Chioko Koffel of Albuquerque caught 26-inch, 29-inch, and 21-inch catfish using power bait mixed with sausage meat at Perch Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.